Hi, I'm Scrapping Amy with One Mommy Scrapping, where I am planning for happy memories. Today, I am going to be scrapbooking the Easter egg hunt from two of my nephews from last year using some traveler's notebook sketches from the Hit Kip Club Facebook group. Let's get started. So the sketch that was put up shows 10 traveler's notebook pages, and I kind of took some of the big elements from each each of the pages and put them into a quick little sketch for my layout. So there are some of these larger circles with hearts or stars around them. I'm going to center my two photos there. There's also um, a front and back page that is just a simply a big semicircle. So I have that right here. We've got some different spots where there is some type of circular embellishment with some vertical lines. So like strips of paper or washi tape. I have added that to my bottom one and I even cut this really tiny cut file. Let me tell you, really tiny cut files, ooh, we don't use them for a reason because they're hard. Because they keep, you know, it's hard to get everything we did without tearing it and I tore that one a couple times. Anyways, and then they have some different pockets and places for some hidden journaling and I have put that in behind the two photos. I haven't quite figured out yet what I want to do for those photos or for that journaling if I'm going to use tags ugh, sorry <laughs> probably rectangles let's be honest it's me and I'll just leave those for open pockets in the back I did cut out a couple things I used this ticket die and this frame die from Rosie Studios so I've got three each of the tickets and three of the Polaroid frames and then I just took scraps of paper that was left and cut um, stuff to fill in the frame. All right, and then my cut file is the same one that I have for this teeny tiny one. Um, and I've already inked it because I wanted to ink it what it still had the centerpiece in and made it a little easier to hold. And so this is going to be where the photos sit. All right, I'm gonna hand you over to editing Amy and I'm gonna create this. So let's talk a little bit first about what supplies I'm using. My background paper is from Echo Park Summer Fun. I somehow ended up with like three or four of these, which I'm not complaining because it's a nice, very neutral wood grain. I can see me, you know, if I had the chance to pick it up like a 25 pack of this. It's that awesome. The rest of the paper and supplies that I am using are all from the Hip Kit Club. The wreath is a digital um, cut file from Paige Evans. I shrunk it down so the lines are a lot thinner than um, what you would normally work with, which is why we don't shrink down cut files usually like I did. <laughs> um, also, the small one that you see right next to Pusheen's tail and the ink pad on the right, I shrunk down even further. I do end up using it. Um, I have it going off the bottom of the page, so you will see that pop up. Now, this is where I realized I put the foam tape on the back of the photo of my nephew, and that's where I'm supposed to have a pocket. So putting foam tape back there is really not my brightest idea. Instead, I use some liquid glue. I like to use liquid glue instead of um, adhesive like from my ATG or glue dots because the liquid glue will dry and that other adhesive will always be sticky so the um, card in the pocket has that opportunity to get a little stuck and messed up so that's just a little something i like to do i ended up for the march kit purchasing the main kit the extra paper and the embellishment kit this is the most i've ever purchased from hip kit i am really trying to limit the amount of paper i'm bringing in now that i've brought in way too much paper I counted that up and I was like oh that's that's not good so I'm limiting it I'm not going to be buying any more extra paper but I'm okay with the 10 sheets that come in usually with the hip kit the this color scheme has been my favorite it has the most perfect shade of purple in it and everything just really seems to flow together so nicely uh, the dies I have that I am using are the ticket die and the mini like Polaroid from Rosie Studio. Those I just got in recently. And oh my gosh, I picked up some other, a uh, few different of their small dies. They are so awesome. I cannot wait to place another order and get some more because you end up with these versatile shapes that can go with anything. I also think I picked up like a, 
a rainbow and, and a little doily. So there are things I can put on anything. And in fact, the doily would have worked really nice on here for some of these circular elements. So I've got that tiny cut file um, cut and put onto the paper. And then I'm using my scraps, to, <laughs> very much using my scraps, to do some fishtail banners. I put the date in the bottom right corner, so those are going to be down there with it. I am using some eighth of an inch foam tape, which I picked up from Amazon. Um, I just, my name completely blanked. Rebecca. Uh, Rebecca Lockhart. I think that's her last name. No, I'm worried I got that wrong too. Anyways, uh, she's the one that had ordered it and I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, you gotta tell me about that. And let me tell you, it's it's not the thick density that the scrapbook.com tape is, but it's in a roll, which is what I like. I have a pack of the eighth of an inch foam strips from scrapbook.com. I've actually not used them yet because I know what's going to happen when I start peeling them off. Other stuff comes with it and then I get things stuck on it. It's it's going to end up being a mess for me. That's because of how I know how I work. So having the eighth of an inch was fun. I will include a link to that down below. These egg puffy stickers I think are so stinking cute. Between those and the um, that bunny down there, I was like, ah, I'm so excited. Elizabeth being a little older, I'm not really getting like egg hunt pictures and stuff like that from her for a couple years now. So it was really nice to get ones of my nephews. And even though my older nephew is just a few years or a few years, a few months younger than Elizabeth, he still participates in things like that because of his little brother, which I think is such a sweet thing. These two boys, it's it's been rough for them, I know, but they love each other so much and Actually, that's what I end up writing about on that card that's behind my younger nephew. You know, I write about their, their friendship. They get into disagreements, but all siblings do. But they're, no matter what, they always come together in the end. And you can tell that they love each other. So I included a Polaroid and ticket in each of those embellishment clusters. I backed the um, Polaroid with other paper from this collection. I keep all my scraps. So those fishtail banners at the bottom are all from scraps. And I like that I have that opportunity. Once the kit kind of is more used up and I start splitting it up into other mini kits or just putting it in my stash, that's when I throw out those little strips of paper. I don't need them then. But when I my kit's still all together, I can usually find something. If you've enjoyed this layout, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel if you're not already part of the One Mommy Scrapping family. Leave a like and a comment. What kinds of things have you enjoyed scrapping this spring? Nouveau drops. I used three real quick. Uh, calming, aqua, French lilac, and simply white. So I hope you guys all have a lovely day and I'll see you later. Bye. Mm -hmm.